Hey everybody, this is Pete, and in this video I want to share some tips with you to resolve kind of a maddening issue that occasionally pops up in the Content Center where you try to update changes to your table and the inventor will throw an error saying uh, non-unique file names. So uh, to show you this scenario, this is one I was working on the other day with the customer, the heavy hex bolt. I'll right click on that and I want to save copy as and I want to put a copy of it in my test library and well, nothing too fancy today just going to go ahead and enter my name as long as I can spell and uh, we'll go ahead and hit OK let that grind away and generate our new family. So I'm going to be knocking out a video later in the week that shows us how to manipulate data particularly if people want fractional values there's a couple ways to do that I'm going to show you a content center table only way and part of that method involves creating columns so I'm going to knock out a column here and we're just going to call it in D calcs oh, no, diam calcs do not use so we're not going to worry too much about this column in today's video but the issue is when I go to hit apply because we want to take these changes and make sure they're published I get the following error and I wonder like how is this possible I just copied this table I didn't have a chance to screw anything up Pete style yet so what ends up happening is in some of these tables even out of the box in inventor there are file names that are identical and we'll take a look at that so depending on the size of your table this is 600 some rows it can be very tedious to come over here and just try to go through every single file name and try to see them manually. Could you do it? Absolutely. Do we want to do it? No way. So we're going to show you a trick in Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this Excel button that will launch Excel, but because it's a larger table, it will take a few minutes for that to load. So I'll pause the video and we'll rejoin in Excel. All right, so the Excel has loaded. I'm gonna bring that up here and then we'll maximize the Excel. Now you should be able to see here's that new column we created. And as we come across, there's our file name. So again, nothing solved yet because we could still manually come through here and try to figure it out, but that would be really awful. So there's two ways that you can do this. I'm gonna show you a method that involves creating a custom column. So I'm gonna right click on this column here. I'm going to insert it. And I'm going to use a text comparison tool in Excel to see the different strings and compare them. So in this case, I'm going to use the equal sign to initiate an Excel formula. And the one that I wanna use is called exact. So you go ahead and click it, double click it, and it compares two text strings. So I did this in the second data row so that I could compare the row above it, comma, to the current file name in this row. So I go ahead and hit enter. Boo. The first thing to note about editing family tables in Excel is that the database, not Excel-based formatting, so everything comes over as text. So I'm gonna right click on this column header and change it back to the general style. Double click inside my cell and press enter. Then it will execute the formulas. So I could drag these down, but it's not really fixing the problem completely because now instead of a longer text string, I have a shorter text string, but I'd still be manually checking them. So what we can do is we can also click here on this column header and there's conditional formatting. So what I'm going to look for is I want to highlight cell rules if something is equal. So the thing I'm looking for are when those two text strings are equal. I want it to be a light red fill with dark red text. Okay. So just as a quick aside, you could have done this over here as well. If we click on this column and do conditional formatting, we could also have done duplicate values totally fine. I'm doing this this method so that I want to show you we can create a temporary column and then delete it when we're done. So we'll go ahead and scroll this down. We get to the end. All of that formatting is there. Awesome. But we don't see 
any of those values yet until until there we go so this is a really cool method that helps me find the the duplicate rows quickly and now we can do a quick comparison there's the unc here and there's this one so for whatever reason there's two different ways of designating the same fastener but it ends up being the same file name so that's the issue so what i do is i'm just going to quickly come in here and you can move forward i'm going to go as quick as i can but if you want to advance the video a few moments go ahead and pick all of these rows using the control selection Got a few more here. There we go. We're almost there. Cool. So I select these rows. And then I can right click, delete. And now I got rid of all of those. Now it does break the formula in certain spots, but I don't care because I'm getting to the end of my operation. And I'm simply going to delete the entire column. So like I said, we can do this temporary bit where we modify the, ta uh, the spreadsheet by adding a column, do what we need to, but we don't want that column in the content center family table. So we just get rid of it before we exit Excel. So I'll save and close this. This again will take a few moments to get back into Inventor. So I'll pause the video and rejoin you on the Inventor side. All right, so we're back in Inventor. We can see that Excel has completed its calculations. Just to double check, I come over here. Yep, there is no extra column there between file name and material. I click Apply. And I'm able to publish my results as I want. So that was just a uh, quick tip. If you ever run into that situation, whether it's a out of the box table that's misbehaving or you accidentally created some duplicates, you can use those Excel tips and tricks to help you find that data and resolve the issue. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know and have a blessed day.